<laughs> when you do the shy though, Jacob Lattimore, is it difficult like with the sex scenes? Uh, at first it was, man. Yeah. It, was, it was like, like stepping in season one. I was like, that was the first scene we worked on. I'm like, yeah, they, man. Usually they try to get those scenes out the way first, so gotcha. we can focus on other things and get that stuff out the way. But uh, how do I'm, you not man up? I'm pretty, in a in a love scene like that. <laughs> uh, it's hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No <laughs> pun intended. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right. Beautiful day in the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. Then got all stars studded up in here, man. Hey. All righty, DC Young Fly, welcome back to the neighborhood, brother. You dig, OG. Hey, man, <laughs> let me tell you, bro, before we do anything, bro, you know I, I F with you strongly. I appreciate My it. My kids, bro, right. it's ridiculous. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? TV, OG. Hey, man, not, not just in the TV, man. I'm talking about just everywhere. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, man, and you've been working hard, bro, and you've been working it. right. I appreciate so congratulations it. to you on all your success. Mm -hmm. Thank you, OG. You probably may think I'm a little jealous, but it ain't nah, jealousy. Nah, it's love. Come on. No, I never take jealousy. It's, it's nah. love. This is what we got to do it. Yeah, let's do it like that then. Yeah, it's love. Yeah, it's love. <laughs> because man. it was like when you walk in and you see your kids watching somebody else and they laughing, <laughs> that kind of hurt your heart just a little bit. I'm black, though, OG, so it should feel uh, <laughs> So am I, but it should just be me. Oh, you know? Man. Like, yeah, man. I'd be like, what, what's so funny about him? You got the age range. Is, it, is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Let's Damn, like that, e that even hurt. That don't hurt. <laughs> yeah, it it's hurt. the truth. Really? Nah, it, it, that hurts, man. <laughs> that's like my mama, she listened to gospel. Right, so right. So she took me in her world when I wanted to listen to the Yin Yang Twins. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm going to tell you, uh, DC Young Fly, that still kind of hurt a little bit. You're going to have to find out another way to uh, figure that out. All right. All right. Well, we... You just sit over there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get us some chip <laughs> yeah. Jacob Lattimore, welcome to the neighborhood, bro. What's going on, man? man? It is, it is a here. pleasure to see you in the neighborhood, Thank bro. Thank you, man. Thank yeah, you Yeah, man. And, and to both of you guys, man, of course, you know, I admire what y'all do. I'm a fan first. So I enjoy sitting down with people that you see are working extremely hard. Thank and you. I know we here, man, we're talking about House Party, the movie that's, that's dropping, man. My boy man. Jake went crazy. Yeah, you did, bro. He went crazy. He went crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, man, how is it being on the set with each other? Because everybody has, like, a great personality. Yeah. Everybody feels like y'all had great energy, man. Yeah. And and sometimes work don't feel like work, but it is work. Right. What was it like being on the set for House Party, Jacob? Man, just to, like... I, I said this uh, the other day, like doing movies with your friends, is, yeah, it just hit, hit a little different. Like right. I think um, all the stars really aligned for us, the cast, the the director, mm -hmm. um, and the cinematography, the writing. Um, shout out to Steven, Steven Glover and Jamal. Right. For, you know, they already putting so much uh, in for the culture with Atlanta, uh, yes, that sir. show. And so to have the top writers in the game, LeBron and the OGs yeah. already giving us that stamp, it's just like, it's a, it's a once in a lifetime type of thing. You know really? what I mean? So we... Um, we we don't take it for granted. We really we really excited to show this show what we did. Hey we, man, when you yeah. do a movie like that, right, Jacob, and also yeah. DC Young Fly, bro, do y'all have to audition for that, or do they just kind of know? It depends on the relationship yep. with the people. Yeah, like I ain't gonna lie, I had to fight. Really for the part, I had to fight. Like you'll be surprised. You man. would think I would think that you would be one that I'd be like, man, give but me see, DC. That's young why fly. we gotta have directors like Kyle Maddox, man. Yeah. Salute to the, to the young goat that know. But not only that, he's like, listen, he's on the other side of the room saying, look, this who I want. And the other people are like, well, let's give him an audition. I do want audition. They like, okay, well, we still thinking about somebody. He like, well, what 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 what, what other role you want to play? Because I've been here kill that one. So he like, look, mm -hmm. they want to see you do this one too. Boom, I do this. So one. you really had, to, had to audition three three and three auditions <laughs> to, to get, get to the DJ this part. This game ain't fair. <laughs> 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 and, but, and you and feel the reason me? why I asked that DC Young Fly because you seem so proven, bro. It's, it ain't even that. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to prove to the other to people. Yeah. He wanted to show them what he saw. Right, right, and right, right. See. And this was his first shot at being a a, a feature film director. Gotcha. So he took and that's a shot on for me, him too. And he yeah. took a shot on me. Yeah. So yeah. we gotta have that unity. Like that's just yeah. like he knew. I gotta go get Jacob. I gotta go get Tosin. Yeah, I gotta man. go get Ro Timmy. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So yeah. th I, that's why we gotta appreciate directors like Kyle, man. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Who really understood what it was going to take to bring this Jake, thing you to Jacob, you audition as well? Yeah, I audition. One and done? One and done. Ah, uh, look at you, bro. But, uh, but, see, he, but, he went crazy. But yeah, he did. But it's a, it's a different process, right? It's just like, I think um, I had auditioned a year before, right? right. So then I, I, and then like I, it, it, I ain't hear nothing. Mm. Then I get a call on a Saturday night. I'm in L.A. by Monday. So oh, it's wow. like, you know, things change. And, and, and you know, that's it, a lot of behind the scenes stuff that happens. But 
overall, you know, what, what was supposed to happen, happened. It you happened. know what I'm saying? And this this going to be all right. This, yeah. this more than all right. It's going to be a classic. Hey, man, how does that feel? When you say it's more than all right, it's going to be a classic. Just knowing that House Party, the franchise, is a classic right. as yeah. well. But yep. each time, it's got to hold its own weight. Facts. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when you go into something, and one thing that I did love about House Party, mm-hmm. the movie is... You didn't have to watch any other house parties. Right. You didn't have to, you know what I'm saying? Right, it wasn't right. a pickup. It wasn't right. it it was just the way that we get down right. at a house party now. And watching house parties prior, I love how this one was also in the moment. Yeah. You didn't see like no oh, flyer. So seen it. Oh yeah, I seen okay, it. Bro. Oh, so you so you okay, like bet. Yeah, you didn't see oh, like okay, so you didn't, bet, But bet, that's bet. the way we get down now. Right, you didn't yeah. see a flyer. You didn't drive by and see a poster. Right, it right. was like it's Instagram. Word that's the way we get down. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when you see something like that, do you go in with not a pressure, but like, hey, man, there is a franchise, mm-hmm. right? And we gotta be just as good. Yeah, I think we w- we wanted to walk away just feeling something, right? Yeah, we wanted facts. to feel something. Like we 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 didn't want to copy and paste the '90s. We respect the OGs. Right, we respect right. That time and that era, right? right. So. Um, to have that uh, that that stamp from them as well give give us that sense of comfort to play and be like, all right, man, DC, I've known you for years. Let's right. create our own moments. Right. Be like, let's let's create something that people can feel and people can appreciate from the older mm-hmm. generation to now, and, and, and they can walk away like, man, I wasn't expecting that. I feel I feel good about yeah. that. Right. You know and what it I'm wasn't saying? one of them things where like, oh man, they effed the franchise up or they did it wrong. Yeah. See, see, people gotta understand, man. Listen, we knew that House Party was a classic. Right. We we we. We know it's a class. It's like a hit song. Yeah, like yeah. we can't sing this word for word, yep. verse for verse. Right. But we could take a sample and create a whole new song with it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And this is our generation. This is our this is our history. Yeah. If we don't get told from the elders or the older generation, who's gonna tell our story? Yeah. Right. So they gave us the stamp to be like, look, this is what we did back in the day. How would y'all throw a house party in 2020? Exactly. And they listened. Yep. And they and you know what I love about it as well, man? This will be someone else's house party. Mm-hmm. Right. And right, by that right, I right. mean like with Karate Kid, to my kids, Jaden Smith is the karate kid. Mm. Yeah. Not not like Ralph Macchio yeah. and Mr. Right, Miyagi. Right, they right. so right. so this is someone's, yeah. you know, this is house party for them. Yeah. And this is the way that they'll remember it. And also being of LA and from LA and just seeing like certain streets, you know what right. I'm saying? The, the, yep. the texture of it. They didn't fuck around and put me in it, which oh. is fucked up. But God seeing like it. head and all the homies. Come on, and- let's get you in it now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, just we're gonna put them. you in the blooper ring. But, you, light but light you know what's light. crazy though, man? I'm really sitting here thinking, I'm like, man, did they hit you know, because I'll get in the wind. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, did they hit me up and I slept? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that makes my ego feel better too when I say it like that. <laughs> For real. Yeah. Did they hit me up <laughs> and did I sleep? Did on? you sleep? Or you should have somebody in the streets. Going to get it. Mm. Yeah. I heard that they throwing house party. Uh, can you go up there yeah, and tell man. them big boys down the street? I should have just right. walked up. Yes. No, I, I can't walk up myself. That dude look like I'm thirsty on yeah, you. Yeah. No, man. you got to yeah. be hungry. It, you know, it'd be greater later, bro. It'd Fact. be greater later, later because we definitely not want it done. I saw the ending. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what I, you saying? Is a sequel coming? It could be. Yeah. Oh. You know what I'm nah, saying? It definitely, definitely feels good. It yeah. feels sequelish. To watch, to watch it with fans, too, and then even like what's happening with hip-hop in the past year to see like certain restaurant signs or hear right. names of certain oh, yeah. artists, you like it make you think about them. And then when it's a, it's a L.A. based project, it's like, man, you, you think about Nip. You think right. about, you feel yeah, you man. think about, you think about where we are in And I'm going to tell you, man, I haven't heard the complete soundtrack, but what yeah. I heard in the movie. Facts. It's off the chain. Man, right. I heard one that I had to Shazam on two chains. Hey. That I was like, man, the yeah, soundtrack got to be. be right. it's and up. it's good to be a part of something, man. Yeah, it's good to be a part of something. And, and, and something that could be so much as a time stamp to what people are viewing today and how they look at certain things for, you know, years to come and for the rest of their lives, man. Right, man. Believe that, man. Now, I was asking you, Jacob Lattimore, are we coming back to the shy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. We start in a couple weeks, man. Really, season, though? We're on season six. Congratulations Who I got to talk to you to get on the show? Hey, we, I can make that call right now. Make, make, when we get out of we yeah. you, we're going to make that call. <laughs> yeah, we'll make that call. So y'all going back in a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah, man. And, and when you go back, bro, do you know already where does where the storyline is going? Oh, uh, I haven't got a script oh, okay. yet. Okay. Um, usually, some- hey man, because them storylines on the shy be crazy. Hey, shy be off chain. <laughs> yeah, man, you don't yeah. know what's going down. Hey, and, Lena, Lena. and that's one of them things. Yeah, Lena Waits, she ain't playing. Nah, no, she ain't playing. And she is definitely with a lot of characters. She is really on some rent, don't buy, mm-hmm. because you could be a top dog mm-hmm. and die. 
Yeah. Just, what was my man's name? Yeah. They used to be like, yeah, what's up with my grandma? <laughs> you know, uh, then Ronnie, he was like, uh, yeah, uh, Ronnie, yeah, yeah, what's up with my grandma? <laughs> that dude, I loved him. They smoked his ass. <laughs> Out of here. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. Man. You I know, think that's the... That's uh, that when you lick your yeah. finger and you go to the next page, like... <laughs> I'm gone. Yeah, yeah. Like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like you got to completely pack. Yeah, man. It's a. It's that's the shy. You yeah, know, man. I, I think that's life in Talk general. Sometimes. Packed. Yeah. You, you got to pack up everything, bro. Like. Nah, yeah. yeah it's um. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know when you when you serve, you know, a certain. I'm not sure what kind of conversations happen sometimes. You know, but uh, after a certain amount of seasons and years, you know, some actors may want to. May want to may want to you know do something else. You right. know what I mean? And right. um and that's okay. You know, like we we're in our sixth season and we. Yeah, this man. is my six years of my life. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm, but you also I'm excited. I'm some excited. people probably want to do I'm glad something they else. I'm do that on Wild and Out. Hey, man. There. And you yeah. with Wild and Out, bro. Like, yeah. DC Young Fly, homie. I appreciate you it. are amazing I appreciate at it, what man. you do, bro. I appreciate and it. And you're another one of those brothers, man, that I see you throw so many things up against the wall and what stick, stick. you run oh, with it. Yeah. And you got to think, man, in a business like today, right? We here today, gone tonight. Right. Mm -hmm. And when you think about, like, the first time I probably see you was, like, probably Vines or something like that. Right. And that's six seconds of you trying to sell yourself right. to mm -hmm. somebody. Right. And a lot of people from Vine, yeah. shit, they died on the Vine. Right. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And for you, the way that you parlayed your career from people, whatever it is, of six seconds to people knowing your name yeah, arenas, and man. knowing your likeness. I, mean, I, I remember it. when we was filming House Party, he said, Yeah, I gotta uh, hit the road real quick. I yeah. Like, and then he'd go and, and do an arena and come back. I was yeah, like, Yeah, man. So hard, man, it's, just, it's God, man. It's but hard. you know what's saying? crazy about you two, DC Young Fly? It's not only the brand of Wildin' Out right. and yep. 85 Salt. Like, you guys, y'all created something that. It's not you're not locked at the at the waist with something else. Right. Yeah. It's not like you and, and I love Nick, but it's not like you waiting on a Wild and Out tour right. to mm -hmm. go do your thing. Right. right. Like you you, you go. People, people don't know that Wild and Out is an international talk about show. It. Talk about and it. And Nick don't get a lot of props you, you like he's supposed to mm. because this show is um one of the longest yes. running two thousand. Keep the shows. network going, bro. This, you yeah. dig what I'm saying? Both of them. Yeah, man. You keep dig the, what I'm saying? Keep the network so it's like, going. This is the twentieth season. Damn. Mm. A while and out. TV say we don't we don't want to go past three four seasons for right. real. We on twentieth. Yeah, man. You dig what I'm saying? And he done employed a lot of people. And yeah. this show is big. It helps. It helps your brand. How did yeah. Nick find you? Because it seemed like a no brainer now, Young Fly. It, it, you know, it seemed. Yeah. It, I went through the process. Hey. Mm -hmm. I went through the audition stages. They was down. You need goddamn audition. That's how <laughs> Sorry it about is. That, bro. You can't <laughs> overskip. <laughs> you can't <laughs> overskip the process. I, I, <laughs> I love that you don't walk in like y'all don't know who I, I am. I don't care about all that. I God love got that. me. Easy God call. got me. Yeah. Talk you about feel what it. I'm saying? So you go. Yeah. So you. I do the auditions. Yes. And he and he did, he did say, "Oh, I know your name." Have you seen the show? I'm like, yeah, you know, I seen it last night. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I study. <laughs> I study. I, I cram. So he like, what's your favorite game? Let me hear some. Do da da I do my thing. And after that, it was cool. I didn't even think I made the show until like two days before they was shooting the first episode. Damn. They flew me out. I got on. And all I kept thinking was, I, right, you hear whatever it is, just be thankful, be just show gratitude yeah. and learn the TV game. Are you thinking a mm. few? Or are you thinking one and done? Because with that, you see a lot of people come through. Is the longevity you're you thinking about? You learn and grow. Every yeah. year you learn and grow. Gotcha. I can't sit here and say I had that mindset my first season a while and not. No, I stayed prayed up. He kept me on the right path. And if you want to learn, you're going to grow. Yeah. So my first season, I was still coming off the streets like... <laughs> <laughs> you could show me something, I would be like, damn, they're wild and out, you know what yeah. I mean? But I just stayed in there, and I realized, okay, I'm on this side. What is it? I don't mm. even know what this is. I'm still, I'm from the hood. Say I'm a clad clown. Yeah. This is new to me. Right, right. What is this? But I come what, from theater, though. What Really, though? Talk to me. I do theater. I come from theater. I love theater. All my life, I grew up church plays, school plays, so... Mm. And I can always gravitate to the classroom. And I don't know how it used to do that, but I used to be like, why is everybody looking at me mm. and they focus on what I got yeah. to say? I never understood that. You see what I'm but saying? But you knew you until had until I mm. until I got older and I was like, all right, this yeah. is what this is. You was, you was paying that yeah. tuition into the school of experience, Man, learning it. I was That's I will right. never forget I was in drama class, right? Mm. I had to do two monologues. This one I knew to better myself. I had two monologues we had to recite in the classroom. 
The first monologue I remembered from an old monologue that was cool, but I didn't have a second monologue. So I was like, I don't know what I'm finna do, but I can't fail this class. Mm -hmm. I came up with something on the spot. I just came up with something on the spot, and when I got done, the whole classroom was like, wow. Wow. Even my teacher was like, <laughs> where can I find that monologue? I'm like, yeah, you ain't gonna never you're find like, it. You're like, yeah, don't, don't look for it. But <laughs> I wrote a 90 on wow. the monologue I made up and a 75 on the one I remembered. Damn, wow. bro. So I knew, like, if any time that I felt like I was stuck or my, my back against the wall, yeah. just go for what you know. Hey, man, right. does that help you also in your career with, even if it's if it's wilding out, if it's 85 South Live, too, because the improv right. also helps. The yeah. improv is, is is you saying what everybody else saying. Right, off you just You just got the guts to, you the spokesperson. And not only that, God granted everybody a sense of humor. Everybody mm -hmm. got a sense of humor. You just don't may not know how to challenge it or channel into it. You Have you I'm ever saying? did mm -hmm. something on Wild and Out where somebody got offended? Like either when somebody in the audience or... I mean, you know, you know. But then you make them feel good about getting offended. Gotcha, gotcha. They may feel, think it's offended, but it, you're not offensive. Right, right, you just right, sensitive to the subject. Because right, right. ain't nobody ever just told you the truth. <laughs> hey, man, do you, do you worry about that kid? <laughs> it's an art. It's right. art. You heard it first. Yeah, you heard you it from me first. Me? Have you ever thought about, like, the cancel culture? Like, how now everybody is Can't nobody cancel me, man. I, I'm, I'm God's child. Yeah. God mm. gave me this. You think, I'm, you think human. <laughs> Look at me. You think I'm scared of humans. Right. Or somebody on the computer. Right. God will shut your computer down just like he'll shut any other computer down. Right. Stop playing with me. I'm spiritually grounded, but I make sure I'm not facetious. Mm -hmm. I make sure I'm not coming at you or nothing. We're going to tell the truth, but we're going to grow and we're going to learn. We're going to laugh it off and we're going to show the world that, look, we're we, we really cool. Right. They want us to battle. They want us to go to war. They want us to go against each other. Mm -hmm. Why can't I not say something that you may feel uncomfortable about so you can feel comfortable right. about it? It's, and right. My thing, and the reason why I asked too, fam, is like, it's just a different world. Right. You know what I'm saying? I remember when everything was game. And, and things were just funny. And now it's just like, man, okay, we can't say that anymore. We can't say that. Even times on radio, bro. I've been in radio for decades. Right. There's things on radio now. I'm like, oh, man, if we would have did, if we, if something popped up from 10, 15, 20 years ago, we, it's, it could be bad. Or mm -hmm. even some of the stuff, huh, see? Even yeah. some of the stuff we used to do back then. <laughs> it's just, it's just a different world, you know? I mean, you know, we're just living in a, in a, in a different time yeah. right now where everybody's opinion it has some type of value, and your opinion can reach people at a quicker pace than it could back in the day. I heard you know, because right now somebody want to reach something, y'all. I got to do it. DM you. Yeah, man. That is the the yeah. closest thing to fan mail. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I used to look at people like you're really writing them. They're right. never going to write you back. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> what about Young Fly? What about when I hit you back two years later? You probably didn't even, uh, man, he had, I, I went and DMG. I checked the DM and I was like, oh, bro, try to get at me. And in that two years, that mother. <laughs> but the crazy part he about it. He got to a just, point where I don't even crazy. need you, unk. <laughs> no, nah, but I, I love and respect what you do for the game. Yeah, it was, man. It would never be that. It just be, I'm always like that. That's right. why it, it was great to, to shoot house party with my bros because we was friends outside yeah, man. of the right. screen. Yeah. And we all interacted with each other. So when we got on yeah. screen. It ain't do nothing but just transition and just show. Yep. Hey, man, now no what's doubt. going on with Jacob Lattimore, the artist? Man, Because yeah. I know there's some he people that, yeah, people, people <laughs> know, go. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then some probably don't. Yep. Yeah, but you go. Yo. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, I, man. I just dropped a new single about three weeks ago I called know. Selfish. Yeah, Talk yeah. It. yeah. Mean, the video out right now, I think I'm in a space where now I'm just like, I'm just free to make my music. It's, I'm in a peaceful place. It's not really... Something I'm not trying to be the number one artist. I'm like, I definitely want to show what I can do on that side. And it's not a game. Like, I really, like Kenny Lattimore, my, like my cousin. Come like, on, I'm, music is in my family. Pop it's it. in me. That's Pop a hell of a last um, name, too, you feel bro. Me? So I think, for me, it's just, a, I'm in a space of freedom where I could just put out my art whenever I feel like it and then go back into hiding with the film and then pop out with another record. And, and just, it's also a way for me to be behind the camera and really show, like, mm -hmm. all right, this is how I want my videos to look which is kind of helping me in my directing side a little bit because that's what, that's the space How does this start well. for you, bro? As far as, you know, when 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 we see the sit-downs or we start seeing the accolades, we see the shows, mm -hmm. people don't understand the story. Even yep. even thinking that I knew a lot about you, DC Young Fly, it was mm -hmm. like, man, nah, dude, I did theater, I did this, you know? And so yep. people see something Vine and people think like, 
Oh man, they they popped in. But there, mm-hmm. if people say overnight, I say, man, you never nah, know how long that night was. It's not right. overnight. Yeah, you never know how long that I'm night like, was, I'm bro. Taking that one. Yeah, yeah, that that's that's real talk. You like yep. when you see it, man. You know, you see you see something come out the water. You like, yep. oh no, nah, that's there was a lot Absolutely. that's under there, bro. We've been grinding since we was kids. Yeah, man. Like, so he, speak speak yeah. on that, man. Before you. You know, when you paying that tuition to the school of experience, when you yep. when you're learning music, when you're learning your acting craft, yep. what is that like for you? Man, it's incredible. I think I've always loved great TV and I've always obviously been surrounded by the music stuff. Um scripts is always handed to me as a as a child, mm-hmm. but I never I was like, nah, I'm I'm gonna do music first and blah blah blah. So I moved to Atlanta when I was eleven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Met DC, like seen the seen the environment. He, he been in the scene now. You feel me? Hey man, so did y'all y'all cross paths a decade yep. ago? Easy, man, listen. Easy. T- we was on flyers when he was a child. Like skating rinks, man. Skating we, we, rinks, we pulling doing... up cascades. And I zone. knew I was on it because I was like, man, they got Jacob Lattimore on him. Man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, we, we get like, somewhere. Like, <laughs> we in, we in, <laughs> we in here, man. Hell they got yeah. Jacob on here, man. For real, and like in that environment and just seeing like, oh man, I don't have to just do music i can also do acting i can do other things i can right. I, it's, this is art you know hey what I man mean? the path is crazy yeah though. it's crazy because even when you say man years ago we were on flyers together right yep. and then to be in la right you know what i'm saying right. and yeah. shooting a movie doing press like that's crazy it's, it hit, it hit and different. it's been years in the game god though. got his hands on us yeah it's man still only the beginning. It's the beginning say it again still only the beginning. say that again Be bro young. Yeah. I'm 26. Like, I'm 30. What? You feel me? Still on in the beginning. Man, you hurt my heart right now. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know how some people, they don't know what the hell. <laughs> like, I, I got homies that's double your age, and I'm like, hey, man, you still... Trying to go to a trade tech college? <laughs> to get a, you know, like, Listen, don't feel like, everybody, everybody, everybody got their job. No, I'm just no, I'm talking bad, about one of my homies. I'm talking about my homie <laughs> Frank. I'm talking about, I'm, I'm talking very specifically. <laughs> nah. I'm talking about my homeboy Frank. This Frank, very, you need to stay away yeah. from the schools, man. <laughs> yeah. This ain't a broad stroke to everybody. I don't want to <laughs> right. put nobody down. I'm just talking about my boy Frank. Okay, Three okay, youngest okay. called me Unk <laughs> last week. Really though? No. Gotcha. I am not your uncle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am your big brother. Yeah. Stop that. So hey. you, but you know what it is, too, man? Some people think, too, that they've seen you for so long. Right. What yeah. do you get when someone see you in person? What's the first yeah. thing you they, get? Because I, I know what I feel when right. I see you in person. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a human. So Can you, I tell you what I get what you and get? ask me if you get this? What you get? Do people think you're taller than what they expected? They think I'm bigger. Really big? They think like I'm big, be like really. You know, TV I, put like 10, 15 pounds on you. Duh. I get you where I'm like, man, I didn't realize <laughs> that you were that tall. Right. That's oh, it. Yeah, yeah I'm, man. I'm about six feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six feet. You know I, what I'm saying? I, if you want to put some, you know. What I mean? I, yeah, five little, five twelve. I get it. That's what you want to say. Five twelve. Hey man, <laughs> had you always been when you say class clown? Had you always been the funny one? Yes, I uh see like I said when I was in 8th grade I went to I went when well, my middle school I went to a, a neighborhood that I wasn't from. Uh-oh. And by my 8th grade year I was voted most popular. Mm. So I was like, "I right, okay. That I knew how to get around and make yeah. the school my school, but I yeah. got to be comfortable. That's just me. I can't go nowhere and not be comfortable. And by mm. me being comfortable is my personality. I can't help it. Mm-hmm. I can't help it that I know yeah. everybody in the school. I know the bad guys. I know the good folks. I know the nerds. I know the teachers. There's a I know lot everybody. of people that saying when you pop and you continue to go. There's a lot of people that say, "Man, I knew it." Yeah, yeah I, I, I knew he was gonna do that. They voted me clad clown in 12th grade. I didn't even know I was on the ballot. You know how you go to homeroom <laughs> they, and they, they, they start calling out all in. the superlatives, superlatives <laughs> and they were like, "This is our class clown comedian <laughs> for 2010, John Whitfield." And I was that's like, you. Y'all think I'm a clown, man? Like, <laughs> oh, am I here to amuse you? Like, what is this? I'm in the right. streets, man. Hey, man. But you see how it worked now? <laughs> right. It's, yeah, hey, man. I mean, God it was flipped. just molding me. He was hey, molding man. me. It and flipped. then when you sit down, bro, and when you start to look at a movie like House Party, and you see all the talent that's in there as well. Yeah. And and not just the, the ones that's with the acting chops, man, right. but just you never know who's going to pop up on the screen. And I don't want to give a lot away yeah. because Defined. I didn't know. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But there, And I got to say it, man, like I wasn't expecting a Kid Cudi yeah. and how much 
He was in, and how comfortable the boy was good. he was yeah, he called in the role. The boy did good. Now, hard, yeah, man. And the things that we, we touch on in, in, the, yeah. in the movie going towards right. the end as exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah, where people think certain things exist. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and y'all weren't afraid to talk about, let's say the Illuminati. Mm-hmm. But, but y'all wasn't afraid to jump on that. So yeah, I right. feel with the movie, bro. It's like you're going to walk away with something. Uh-huh. You're going to enjoy it. Yeah. You're going to love these characters. You're going to root for the characters yeah, as well. Yeah, you really see the heart of, like, why they need to throw this house party. Yeah, you man. It ain't just, like, trying to kick it in and turn up. It's like, well, we really need to make ends. Yeah. We're trying to create mm-hmm. an opportunity. We're trying to get out, and that's the universe. And talking. then when I saw that, man, just, like, the reason why you were promoting, mm-hmm. I'm like, man, this dude got kids in every... <laughs> every... <laughs> Thing he does, yeah. In the best dad, he the best dad in America, yeah, man. Yeah, he's the best. This, this dude is the youngest one in the room with the most kids hey. in, his, in his shows. Can't slow down, yeah, slow man. Down. Hey, man. <laughs> when you do the shy though, Jacob Lattimore, is it difficult? Like with the sex scenes? Uh, at first it was, man. Yeah. It, was, it was like like stepping in season one. I was like, that was the first scene we worked on. I'm like, yeah, they, man. Usually they try to get those scenes out the way first, so gotcha. we can focus on other things and get that stuff out the way. But uh, how do I'm, you not man up? I'm pretty, in a in a love scene like that. <laughs> uh, it's hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No <laughs> pun intended. I did. I did. I did. Yeah, ah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, no pun intended. I homie. think, man. It's, at this point, man, at five five years later, I'm like. All you right, know bet. how to channel it. I'm bet. It's like I think I'm it's more so making sure the women are comfortable because right. yeah, yeah, yeah. you know they have more to show and we I'm Facts. I'm like at this point I'm just when you I know, I know you what, have a scene where you're gonna be either naked, topless, shirtless, whatever, are you sit doing sit ups and man, you, when you know it's coming? Yeah, I'm like, dang. I mean Chicago the worst place because oh, yeah. it's it's food so good. Oh every, yeah, hell yeah, it right. is. And we wanna eat dinner every night. And then <laughs> and then it'd be cold and I gotta go ahead and use that as an excuse. You know what, I mean? like, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, it's cold out here. Girl. It's cold outside, baby. Hey. Hey man, but <laughs> but yeah, God. that's one of the things too, man. When you watch the shy, and if you guys watch the shy like I do, you could just see women on the set and every all the women are just frozen. And I'm like, why is it? I'm like, dude, this dude fuck everything that move on this show. <laughs> <laughs> but your character now has evolved. Yeah, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Your character now has evolved. Uh-huh. It went from irresponsible father to taking care of his taking care of responsibility. So it's a lot of growth in it. I'm, Hell I'm excited, yeah, man. man. And just, like I say, bro, I yeah. really, I really enjoy the show. Thank you, man. You know, and Thank I always you. wait for like, oh, okay, we back. Yes, sir. I, I say yes, we, sir. but we back. You yeah, know what I'm saying? We're we not looking to slow down. I'm um, it's we gonna we gonna be on TV from, from man, y'all, I'm here. And y'all cleared a lot of hurdles, man. Y'all cleared a lot of hurdles when people thought like it wasn't gonna pop yeah. and it continued to pop on. It did, it did. DC Young Fly, what I can't even say what's next for you. Man, it's, it's like a surprise. Yeah, man. Way. You live in yeah. you live in it. Cooking. You live in your dream though, huh? Hey, like I say, man, it is it's God, man. I'm just mm. following the footsteps that God had prepared for me. You feel right. what I'm saying? As long as you stay spiritually grounded, you'll be able to see what's what and what's not. Praise right. God. You feel what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. if you stay focused, all you gotta do is stay on the mission. Like, I wanna make sure I'm like not the superstar, but mm. I want to give y'all everything I got. Yes, sir. Yes, I don't yes. want to leave you nothing. On the, me. I don't want to leave nothing on the table because I don't want to be like, oh, what? I'm like, man, I could have inspired somebody if they knew I did this. Right. Oh, I right. could, I could have moved mm. something if they knew I did this. Mm-hmm. I don't need them to not know that I don't be. I'm not able to do that. God gave me the script, and I need somebody who may feel weak to know that. Yes, sir. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Where did you get that from, though? You know how sometimes we could be something to somebody else, mm-hmm. but then you're like, man, where did you get that from? I just, I grew up around older, older people. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I come from an older background. I feel like I done been here before. Yes, sir. You see what yeah. I'm saying? I know that these young cats, they, they need some type of structure, some type of guidance, because I come from that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I need guidance. I right. need structure. Yeah. I like to follow. Mm-hmm. Not in a bad way. Saying that I'm a follower. I'm a leader in my position. Right. Mm-hmm. That's what people fail to realize. Yeah, Everybody got a different word. position. Word. But I am a leader. I don't mind following another leader who needs help taking pressure off of him as well. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a word. Right and there. that's why you can also, man, do a movie like House Party and it's not like, oh, it's totally it's starring. Yeah it's, yeah. yeah. it's, it's an, an ensemble. ensemble. Exactly. An ensemble, man. We had a lot of fun with this one. Yeah, right. we, got a, we, got, we got a blooper here. And, and y'all got the work done. Yeah, we got you know it. It was saying? lit. I don't think people understand. We shot all the house party scenes early in the morning. Hey, yeah. man. Yeah. From like 12 to 5. And whoever yeah, did a lot of that casting, oh my God, they, they did, did some they beautiful thing. casting. Nah, they they it, it was crazy. Because, yeah. like, we, for real, like, we filmed all night. So we really live in the nightlife for like three weeks straight, sleeping during the day, 
partying at night, working at night. So the producer's like, yeah, we got this person coming today. Then an hour later, like, oh, our schedule changed. They couldn't come. So we really don't know who pulling That's up to this right. house. Yeah. It's crazy. Right. So, so you're also, also, like, wondering what's next. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, and I feel good you're as like, an actor. Who coming? Yeah. D- DC Young Fly, let me, yeah. let me ask you this, man. Do you still congratulate Nick Cannon on kids. Facts. Or, okay, okay. So, Facts. Emmett do. <laughs> Emmett do for sure. Facts. <laughs> yeah, because at, at one point, I, I know when I buy like cards, right? Right. My wife will buy like a multi pack. Right. And usually it's like 12 cards. Right. In a multi pack. Nick is out of that pack. Wow. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta Ooh. also understand it's a, it's a, it's a foundation. Yeah, it's hell a, yeah, a, it is. Yeah. You you building you building up a generation like mm-hmm. you you may be one person with two and he's kids. Conscious of it though, come, but you know exactly what's going on. You yeah. may be one person with two kids, but think mm-hmm. about you may never know your kids may not have no children, so your generation will just it'll be over with. We had the we had the point where we want a whole lot of kids. We building up a foundation because I want ten kids. I heard that. How many, how many do you have? I got three. Okay, man, you got and, you got some work to and, do. And I do, right. I do, and it ain't me following. His footsteps, we just on the same, you know what I'm saying, frequency. My grandmama had 12 children yeah, and, man. and three miscarriages. Wow. Mm. So that's 15 children. Yes, I come sir. from that. Man, let me tell you straight up. I got two, mm. and I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I have tired. one and I'm tired. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people, it, because it, you I, have come, a I come, I come from though. seven. Mm-hmm. It's seven of us right. and one, one, one uh, that passed as well. You know, right. So my mom had eight. Mm. Hey man, and I just remember just the, the, the love in the household, everything. But man, when I came to my own, I was right. like, oh man, nah, I you think got I'm to gonna... love it though. Like, yeah. I'm not even gonna lie, yeah, I that's love real. taking care of my kid, like yeah, getting sir. up, fixing their food, and oh, like ahead. that gives me a rush. Like, yeah, yeah. no, no, DC I'm really a, building I'm a father. Like, DC mm-hmm. build, building a village for real. I'm building a yeah. village. I'm pulling up, I like, I'm like, I can't I wait. I hey told man, him pull up. he no, building yeah. a village. Yeah. My man Nick building a nation. Yeah. <laughs> there's a there's a total difference. Yes. Yeah. Hey man, and, and, but also with Nick and I love Nick. He got the wherewithal. Right. He got the smarts. Right. He, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like 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 everything, man. So I I give it to him. And plus, what someone else do doesn't mean that I do it. A lot of people see what they do and read what they they they, they do what they read. You gotta understand. I read the Bible. Mm-hmm. It said it's okay for a man to have multiple wives if you can take care of them. Really? And it's okay, it's not wrong for you to have all these children. Why can't I have these children? You want me to have two? This man, is population control. Let me, sound like- let me be careful too, man, because the multiple wives too, yeah, that'll get you locked up. Multiple kids probably won't. How? Yeah, but multiple wives, I don't I don't know. I don't want to get No, it won't get you locked up. How many up? wives do you have now? I mean, I got one. All right, well, why are you preaching that then? Because. Right. It's, a, it's a possibility. <laughs> it's a possibility. You're like, nigga, I got to leave the door open. It's a possibility. I got to leave the door open. I can't shut the door. It's a possibility. It's <laughs> like I'm young in my career. I don't know who I'm going to meet next. <laughs> no, it's a possibility. Yeah. It's a possibility. <laughs> he, like, don't, he like, don't close it up. Yeah, it's What's a going possibility. Down? What's happening at 85 South right now, man? Man, shout out to my bros, oh, man. My Chico God, bro. Bean, oh. man. Clayton, man. Carlos Miller, man. We 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 build how our do, podcast. How do y'all find each other? Like, how does all that funny me find each other? Well, Carlos bro. and Clayton already knew each other. Me, Chico, and Carlos knew each other from Wild and Out. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And one thing led to another. And before you know it, we had a podcast, and I didn't really know what a podcast was. I'm thinking it's like this. It right. started like this, but they end up becoming some bigger and 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 large because we comedians. It's not like we're a radio host. Yeah. We just doing radio right now. Cause people don't think that podcast is radio. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just your own radio. Yeah. You feel me? You don't have no limitations on where you could take it. Mm-hmm. And before you know it, we start doing live shows. And when we start doing live shows, we just kept seeing like, hey. They coming out and we growing. It's like we could be comedians on stage, y'all. Right. Doing podcasts. Doing tours. On tour. And on stage together going. too. Y'all yeah, on stage man. together. That's fine. We it, shared the stardom. Is yeah. it crazy that you'll see like, man, we had a large audience. We sold out in such and such. Sold out the forum. You, our name on the forum. You can't put your name on the forum unless every seat got an ass in it. Mm. Hey, man. I'm gonna say that again. You can't put your name on the form like, unless every you're talking seat, about when you walk down and you, you had you that walk, wall. You see all them walls. Yeah, you the gonna signatures see 85 on the- South. Fire. You cannot put your name on it without an ass in every seat. So that's the sold out. When you walk we into, you know the you're about, blocked mm-hmm. off. When you walk mm-hmm. into the uh, into the forum, there's a wall and there's names that people sign up on the wall. They got two yeah. times, three times. I ah. mean, they came in there and sold out three times. We ain't talking about with the curtain blocked off. 
Wow. And you only put 1,500 seats in the... That's, no, that's powerful. Bro. You take them black curtains down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we need and all them to seats. Count. Continue to count. But we I, we did that with our brothers, black business. And 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 we started from nothing. Mm-hmm. And we believed in each other. Yeah. And that's a business that, I, that helps me to this day, that keep me grounded as well with... I'm going to forever believe in my brothers and whatever they got going on. I'm going to always back them up in, in whatever they got going on because mm-hmm. y'all don't know where this may go. Mm-hmm. And we don't know what we can learn from it. Yeah. And look what we did with 85 South. We started with one mic. Yeah. We were sharing it. Mm-hmm. And here we are. <laughs> and now we on the farm. Hello. Yeah. Hey, man, That's With right. uh, we recently saw... You know, of course, the the Will Smith slap, the right. dude running on stage, right. uh, attacking Dave Chappelle, mm-hmm. right. and people almost felt like they had this liberty to to act out. Mm-hmm. And I know that somebody at one point didn't somebody try to jump on stage, and then the next thing know. that we know, yeah, exactly. I heard. Yeah, I see what happened. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, he was like, it ain't gonna happen. Just protect yourself. Yeah, yeah. You just just, the hell just did, keep though. God first. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure that you're not being facetious. And you you put understand. a holy ass whooping on them. We're, we're, it's a renaissance. <laughs> I come on stage. I'm here to perform for the people. Right. Nobody should interrupt and nobody should feel threat. I heard at that. At all times. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> at all times. And, 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 and we will leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> Believe that. Jacob Lattimore, DC Young Fly, definitely want to thank you guys hey, for coming man. into the oh, neighborhood, man. man. It's the OG, man. Fine. Welcome Come to on, the neighborhood man. anytime. Hey, man. man. And uh, the, uh, the the premiere for those that's local is going down tonight. Come on, yes. man. Look at, look at what the weather did. Come you on, know what I'm saying? We brought that sunshine. Clear up a little bit. Hell yeah, man. Come on now. Hell yeah, it did, man. But that that's dynamite, man. And once again, I'm telling you, brothers, man. I'm a fan first. Thank I you. can't wait to see what's coming next from you, thank Jacob, you, with 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 the shy, with thank music. You. you know, you're you're an excellent actor, bro. Thank you, man. excellent thank actor, you so bro. Much, and Go. with you, DC Young Fly, my brother, I love to see what you're doing. I appreciate yeah. it. And I love to see, I love to watch your journey. Yeah. I love to see the opportunities, not only for you, but the opportunities that, that you guys make for others. Thank because people it. really feel like they can. Because you guys do. Right. We didn't have a lot of like, okay, I, I could turn this. Like, for one, I've never felt like you guys have sold off. Mm-hmm. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yep. It's un- unapologetically you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's the realest that you guys could be. And people look at that. Yeah. Like, when I say, like, man, we watch The Shy as a family. That's the, that's you know the what I'm saying? Appreciate because it. there's always something that's grounded or something that you can get into. We watch yeah. The Shy as a family. That's amazing. And then, bro, with the work that you do, DC Young Fly, like, I'm telling you, man, like, you entertain my family. I appreciate it. Wow. My kids will sit up and they will just go through a <laughs> rabbit hole <laughs> of what you do. I appreciate it. And those are my babies. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So love. thank you both for entertaining it. us. And, man, thank you both for also mm. being positive enough that others can continue to watch y'all, man, and sure, also bro. think outside the box. Thank you. Oh, man, thank can you we guys, say we bro. appreciate you for being yeah. an icon Absolutely. and a pioneer in the game? Thank you, Not brother. just with what you're doing right now, with just hip-hop, period, man. man you feel what I'm saying? You. Like, if you look around and look at all these pictures, man, these are relationships you had for real, for Yeah, real. man. Yep. A lot yep. of people can't, t- can't get with these The name yeah. of the game. You yeah, man. You yeah. Be- I used to watch you, OG. That's real talk. You and I appreciate me? that, man. Yes, sir. And now look at us. Yeah, look at us. You know what I'm saying? God gonna align each other's yeah. footsteps. Yes, you hear me? I, I had to put my name on your guest list for tonight. Oh, <laughs> 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 In LA. Put it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Put up. Put up. Put up. Put up. All right, hard, man. man. Jacob Lattimore in the neighborhood. DC Young Fly in the neighborhood. Big Boy's neighborhood. Come on.